Um, right, I'll show you how to install a. Um, I'll show you how to install a Super Alps skin actually, and I'll do it. I'll actually show you on stream, and I'll actually put this up as a video, as like a like, as a like a highlight video on YouTube. Finally, showing people how to install a skin on Train Simulator. It period, and this is a skin from Super Alps, a reputable skin source, and has pretty good clear instructions here. Let me just get, let me just get, um, let me just get my uh, display sorted out here. I think. There we go. Cool. Let's just get rid of that. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have a skin here. And people in the chat, don't worry. Uh, you probably guys know how to do it. But this is for people out there that do not know how to install a skin. So, you download your skin or whatever. I have right here the Intercity 125 or the Class 4 Free, a Riva Cross Country. Um, skin I've downloaded off Super Alps' website. Super Alps makes uh, skins for Train Sim. Um, and I've opened up the uh, the a PDF or like a Docker Word document. Most uh, skin places, uh, uh, people that do skins that you can download off the internet, um, they have a nice worded manual like this that will give you the description of the skin, what it entails, what it's covered up here. So like the Class 4 Free has different uh, coaches and whatnot and in a skin. Uh, if it's a different coach or whatever, I have a different like geo PDX file, geo yeah geo PCDX file or whatever. So it depends. Some don't have as many. Some have as many because there's different types of coaches or whatever. So like in this one, uh, you're gonna have the yeah you have the Mark Free TFO, the Mark Free TSO, and just the Class Four Free or whatever. So here we have three geo geo PCDXs to kind of work with. But the first thing we do is we want to uh, extract the contents which I've already done. It's already extracted and then you would navigate to Railworks your in uh, the Railworks install folder and then double click on a program called Utility Tech. So you would find so I'm gonna now uh, if I can find my if I can find mine I'll bring it up on the screen in just a sec. Where is it? If I go into my if I go into my uh, Steam folder Wherever you keep your, uh, wherever you keep your train sim file, like your main kind of directory file. So right now I think I have mine up. If it's here, there it is where it works. Okay, so let me get that here. So this is my Steam folder has all my games in it. I'll go into Railworks. I would then go scroll down, and you'll find a program called Utilities. Open up Utilities, and Utilities should now come up. Very nice program. It does things for, you know, for different types of people that are using TrainSim. But the only thing we really want to know is we want to know the package manager. That's the only thing you'll be using if you're going to just install skins and whatnot in the game. Pretty simple. So I've extracted. Uh, let me find. There we go. So I've extracted my Intercity Arriva Cross Country. I think it's in my downloads folder. I think the the RP uh, RWP file is the one we're going to need basically, and it, it's I think in my downloads folder as you can see. So I'd go in the utilities program on the package manager. I'd go into install. I would uh, go and find this uh, this uh, this file. If I can find it. Probably be under into yeah in this folder in Intercity one two five Arriva Cross Country and then we have the dot rwp file. I'd click it, I'd open it, and then you let utilities do its magic and work and whatnot. It looks like sometimes it's loading, sometimes it doesn't look like it's loading. But you basically just want this bar to just disappear, and that's basically when you know it's good. And in the instructions, it even tells you head to the whatever package manager, then and click install. Uh, locate the .rwp file you previously extracted. Once the green bar has disappeared, you may close the package manager. So everything is pretty well explained so far, in the, like word for word in the instructions. So I like one of the things that bugs me the most when I hear people like, "How do you install a skin?" I'm like, "Have you read the instructions? If you don't read the instructions, you don't know how to. Then okay, maybe you don't know how to. Maybe you just need a visual." visual representation this is what i'm hopefully going to give you guys out there on youtube 
on Twitch as well, even though all the people in the uh, in the Twitch chat should know how to do this, and they're probably just like, oh, can you just get on with another scenario? But I'm doing this now because lo I've had, had loads of requests to do a uh, how to install a train sim skin, and then I've also had loads of requests of how to install Omsi maps, and that tutorial is nowhere near even completion. It probably won't be ever done because basically, how to install Omsi maps is uh, basically a gamble, and uh, it's not really how to, it's basically is it going to? <laughs> More like a question mark or whatnot. But. <laughs> As you see here, utilities is still loading or whatever. You don't want to touch it or whatever or do anything. Just let it do it. Let it just install, do it, uh, do its thing. Some skins are bigger; they'll need more time. Some are smaller; it'll just happen instantaneously or whatever. But we're just waiting till there's no more green bar, as it's just happened right now, which is all fine. And right now, we don't need utilities. Well, I'm going to keep utilities open because I need some more skins for this scenario that I'm doing on my stream. But we're just doing this fun example for you guys on YouTube. So, once we've done all of that, we can actually head over to the next set of things, which this is the thing probably I think most people struggle with, is the moving of the files or not knowing where the files go. So, th just listen carefully here. So, the, the, the instructions here show you everything and all the locations and whatnot of where to find the files, where to copy the files, and where to put the files. So just read and look where all these files are if you don't have those files then you probably haven't installed something or like you're missing stuff you probably shouldn't download the skin because you probably haven't bought the train or something like that like it could be as simple and maybe even as stupid as that like i have to say it because some people just some people think they can just download the skin and they have the train like there are people like that and i'm not gonna lie there's been there was a time maybe when i was seven years old and i was like looking at all these like and then and one thing i did and i will admit to this on on camera and i think i've already done this already i've already told the story about this but basically i bought uh microsoft train simulator add-ons for train sim and I thought, oh, this will just what? No, actually, no. I didn't buy it for train sim. I just bought the add-ons because I thought the add-ons were just like individual games themselves. I thought, oh, I could just play this with this add-on. But then I found out that no, I needed the actual Microsoft Train Simulator game to play it. So we all do do those stupid mistakes. So I just want to tell people out there who are in that in that ship that I was there too. But then I jumped off. Anyway, so. Now we want to get into the kind of folder kind of business. So we want to go back to our uh, we want to go back to our Railworks directory. We want to go on to assets, and here we're looking for what is it? We're looking for uh, we are looking for assets. We're looking for Kuju Rail Simulator Rail Vehicles Diesel HSD First Great Western Class Four Three. So we will find uh, we'll find Kuju. And there's all uh, all these folders basically are basically where the different locomotives and all the units are because obviously there's different developers that make them so they'll be come up in different folders. The Dovso games had different things where they've broken down like the older stuff would be in Kuju and then more later stuff would be in DTG and whatnot. So you know this is just where all of the trains and stuff are broken down into the assets folder. So we want Kuju. We want rail simulator. We want um, rail vehicles. And one thing also to note: some uh, trains, uh, like more modern kind of uh, routes and trains and whatnot, you might have to extract some extra files to get these kind of folders and whatnot. But that will have like a thing where you can extract, and some of the instructions, if they're good, will tell you to do that. So uh, we need then uh, diesel. Then we need uh, HST. Then we need First Great Western, Class 4 Free. And now we need to, this is where basically the first GOPCDX file is. And these are the files of the ones that we're going to basically need. So I'm going to copy this GOPCDX file. And then basically where we want to be putting this file is that we want to put it in the new uh, cross-country one. The one where we want the skin to work, of course. So we'd go all the way. So I've copied it now. Uh, copy. And then I go. I want to go all the way back to about. Um, where do we have to go? But we have to go back to about HST. So now we're looking at this. We're looking at basically this kind of last bit. We don't have to go all the way back unless you're like unsure and you want to go all the way back. So I'll just go back, back. And now when HST, I need to find the cross country file, which is at the bottom here. 
and I want to find the class for free uh, folder and then here there's no geo pcdx file and then I want to just pick uh, press control V and then there we go the geo PC DX file is in for that one and then the next one so on I'll find is the uh, I need to find the uh, MK3 TOF so I'd go back and find first great western I'll then go on to the mark free tof and then i would copy the geo pcdx file then i would go back go to cross country go to the mark free tfo and paste it in there and then we'd go and find the next one which i do believe is the tf no no we've done the tfo the next one is the TSO, so we'd go to uh, First Great Western Mark um, Mark Free TSO. So we go back, go back to First Great Western, go to uh, TSO. There's the uh, I think is there's two yeah. So with this one, there's two because obviously there's a GOPTDX uh, file here and one for here. So there's two files here. Sometimes even there might be three, there might be four in the same place. You just got to copy the geo PCDX files well, from what the instructions tell you. So here I'm going to copy both of these and copy that. Then I'm going to go back, then I'm going to go into cross country, then I'm going to go into Mark 3 TSO, and then I'm just going to paste them in here. And I do believe, if I'm reading that, that's just and that, and then that is pretty much it, I think. For the files, that's all you have to do. Then basically what you do is you would go, you would open up Train Simulator. As mo you don't, well you do have to kind of maybe do it. I don't know. I don't know if there's any kind of errors and stuff you can do if you don't clear the cache. But you basically open back up your game and you go onto settings, you go onto tools and then you go into clear cache and it restarts your game and then basically the skin should be working essentially. And that is essentially how you install a skin in Train Sim. There might be some, uh, some skin creators might have you do certain things differently. Some even patch it into a full installer, which is very easy, then you just install it. Uh, some, as I said, with some of them that have things that you have to extract before to access the files that you have to find the Geo PCDX files in and whatnot. So I'd go here in TrainSim once we've installed the files and stuff of the skin, we go into settings, we go then onto tools, and then we go into clear catch and that just forces a reset of all the installed DLCs and then just basically makes the, the skin work. And that's all you do. And then your skin should work. So I hope that has helped you. Um, for the people that wanted me to do a tutorial on how you uh, install a skin on a train simulator. That is uh, basically how you do it. I do apologize to the people that are watching on the stream right now in the Twitch chat because they probably know how to do this. But uh, I thought I'd take the opportunity to do this and hopefully this video will be up soon. And is a nice kind of how-to video of how to install skins on Train Simulator. But this is a skin from Super Alps' website. There are places that you can get like UKTS, um, DP Simulations and whatnot. Um, some of the forbidden ones like um, Blue Code or Blue Rail or if they still exist, I don't know. But... Um, all of them generally should be the same kind of method. Um, some are a little bit easier, some are more, not more complicated, just some have more GOP, CDX files to move around and whatnot. I don't think there's any other kind of, kind of methods or stuff to do it. I think that's kind of the kind of generalized way of doing it for all kind of skins. Just as I said, there's going to be some trains that will require more GOP, CDX files, some less. Some will need extracting all the kind of files and stuff to access the GeoPDX, uh, PCDX files. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions though, feel free to comment down below in the YouTube comments. And uh, someone will help you. I've helped you in this video. But I'll, I'll, I'll comment down below on YouTube as well. But thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoy installing skins. Thank you.